Hi, my name is Aidy Iskandar. I was a former national team captain for the Lions and currently I am a coach. My late grandfather, who uh, wasn't smoking, he told me that if you want to achieve uh, as a professional footballer, uh, take my advice, don't smoke. Uh, there are cases, uh, footballers who smoke and play football at the same time. Smoking will actually shorten their playing career in a way that you know they are not able to perform up to their best especially when they grow older. So that's where you know you have to look after yourself, look after your body. And I took the advice and I managed to, to be who I am right now. Hi everyone, my name is Pravin Saivi. Um, I'm a musician, singer, entertainer, and I spread my love through my music. And I'm smoke free. There are a lot of urban legends about smoking and how it can help your voice. Come on, we all know what it does. I'm, I'm very sure that if I had not stopped, I would not have been able to salvage my voice. There came this point in time where I totally lost my voice. Like a hundred percent. I could not even reach half of my range that I could normally reach. And that was my wake-up call because I knew that, okay, I need my voice. Hi, I'm Evelyn Maria. I act, model and host. One day I went home and my mum smelled the cigarette smell off me. I guess it was being a non-smoker herself, so the stench is just terrible for her. And she said, um, you should be mature enough to know that smoking is bad for you. Hi everybody, I'm Felicia Chin and I'm a Mediacorp artist. I always felt very curious about the smell of cigarettes, I don't know why. So I opened it and you know, I fiddled with it and, and I lit it up with my father's lighter. And, and actually I really wanted to try it then, you know, curious kids, you know. That, but oh, I, I smelled it, I'm like... Ah, oh, Yes, I have killed someone who smoked before. <laughs> it's not a really pleasant thing, like. <laughs> Smoking dehydrates your skin, and uh, especially women. Um, when you constantly smoke, it's easy to have like lines around your mouth. Looks wise, it's like that. And I think you don't want to look like 50 when you're 30. So yeah, actually, I think smoking plays a big part in that. Yeah. He deteriorated very fast. He could no longer recognize us anymore. Uh, he he and 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 the scariest thing is that um, his whole mouth is full of blood and his teeth are stained with blood because um, the cancer cells have spread so much in his body that you know it's rejecting so, so much substances. So it was it was a sight that you know. Uh, you, you can hardly believe your eyes and that your father has become like that. When my, my, my dad passed away, I didn't cry at all. You know, I didn't cry at all until a week later, I was alone at home and I just realised that he's no longer around. And I was sitting on the rattan chair that we bought for him because his body was always aching because of cancer. So, and when it suddenly dawned on me that he's no longer around, so, and I, I just cried like I never cried before for my 17 years of my life and I'll always wish that he's with me because I feel that he passed away so young he's only at 51 yeah and um, I feel that you know I want him to be proud of me of the things that I do I, I'm sharing this story not because uh, you know it's a you know, sob sob story but I just feel that um, there's so much that we can do as family members and loved ones that um, if you know something's bad for a person, you should try your best to, to, to persuade him or her not, not to do it.